Hello and welcome to this spreadsheet on pad I design developed by the NavalArt.com. This Excel sheet will help you design a simple pad I without brackets for any given load. So let's take a tour of this Excel sheet. This is the welcome page which will give you all the instructions on how to use this sheet and what this sheet does. Next we go to the inputs page in which the geometry of the pad I has to be input, along with the material properties. Figures and diagrams are given to better explain what is to be input for the geometry. We have the material properties, the pad I geometry, the weld size, the shackle geometry, the sling geometry and the pad I loads to be input by the user. This is all which has to be done by the user. Once the inputs are given, the Excel sheet makes all the different strength checks for different loads coming onto the pad I. First it calculates the design loads and the allowable stresses based on the material properties given. Then it does a geometry check for the pad I, whether the shackle clearances are enough or not, or whether the jaw diameter of the shackle is enough to accommodate the pad I. Such kind of checks are performed first. And then, it does the stress check at the pinhole, like bearing stress, the shear stress, the tensile stress, and the hertz which is the contact stress check. All these are done and well explained through figures attached to the sheet. Next is the stress check at the base plate. The base plate of the pad I is a rectangular plate, and stress checks to be done at the base are, the tensile stress check, the bending stress check, the shear, the von Mises stress check and the combined stress check as per AISC. The combined stress is basically a ratio of the tensile stress and the bending stresses which has to be less than 1. It does the individual checks for all the stresses and also for the combined stress for the base plate. Next comes the welding check. The first check is the weld stress check for the base weld of the pad I. Here, we calculate the shear, tensile and the bending stresses and using them, we calculate the total stress on the weld, and this total stress has to be less than what is allowed for the base weld. After the base weld has been checked, the last kind of check is the weld between the cheek plate and the main plate. For this, a shear stress check is performed, and with that, all the different kinds of stresses coming onto the pad I have been checked and evaluated. This Excel sheet can be used for a pad I without brackets and with only one cheek plate. This comes in very handy for designing pad eyes for lifting and marine transportation operations, and this Excel sheet has been designed with the standard references. The AISC allowable stress design, the APIRP2A working stress design and Noble Denton guidelines for marine lifting and lowering operations. That was about the pad eye design spreadsheet developed by the NavalArc.com. To download this product, please visit the website. Thank you.